everybody, this is Upstate Digger here, and um, did a little bit of research on some of the parts that I uh, found and some of the stuff uh, I found in Georgia. And I was, uh, after cleaning them up a little bit, I didn't do too much cleaning, but I did do some. I was able to find out that this uh, little lantern part was made by uh, Bridgeport Brass Company uh, out of Connecticut. They started in November 2nd, 1865. Um, these were, this is actually a Lincoln uh, burner. Uh, it says Lincoln right on it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you, but um, it, trust me, it says Lincoln on it. And um, I'm not sure what the patent dates at all are, but I know I know that this is one of the one of the first patented ones that actually this part actually flips uh, the wick and everything kind of flips this way. And it's a square type. It's not the or however that it's not the round type. Um, and also when I was doing a little bit of research on uh, the website there, they had some other parts that I kind of looked through, and I actually found out that this, actually this little ring thing that I thought was junk, uh, just a part, is actually part of the, um, part of this uh, top right here, and um, you actually screw that onto the bottom, or onto this, it's actually a collar. Uh, which is actually pretty cool that I was able to find that on um, one of their, they actually show a picture of it, so I was actually able to identify it from the picture. And it actually is about the same size, you know, of this that it would actually uh, thread on, and there's some little threads right here that are all crushed. Um, not sure what, um, you know, how old this is because I can't really I don't want to just you know take it all apart because it's going to destroy it um, but I think it's kind of cool the way it is right now so um, but interesting fact about uh, Bridgeport Brass Company was that they made the first telephone line to go from New York to Boston uh, they supplied the um, I guess it was copper uh, during that time and um, I'm not sure what the date is, but um, one, inter one other interesting fact about this is that I found this in Georgia. Um, and you go, well, I mean, you know, that's not very odd. Well, um, these were very, very popular in the north because they had the, the name Lincoln on it. Um, on the website, they said that these were very, very hard to sell in the South due to the Lincoln name. No one wanted the Lincoln name down here in the South. So that was pretty interesting. Um, didn't really think about that um, at the time, but uh, the, you know, this is right after the Civil War, so I guess people were pretty bitter still about that, uh, like they are today. Uh, well, some people are today. Um, one other part that I found, and I'm not sure if it is connected with this or not at all, but uh, I just kind of rubbed some of the dirt off of it, and um, I found this part, and I'm not sure what it really is. I mean, it has some moving parts on the back side here, um, and you can see that moving there, but I'm not sure what that actually did. Um, now, on the very, uh, let me see if I can get the, see if I can actually hold a light to it, but um, you'll be able to see, the, uh, maybe you can't see, but um, it says Lamp L USA on it, and underneath that, there's a number, a couple numbers stamped, and then, um, but they're uh, very hard to read. In fact, they're 
there's like two or three that I can read. I'm not sure how many there's listed, but actually under here is an actual arrow pointing this way um, that um, etched in the tin or the uh, copper here that's pointed this way. So I'm not sure if maybe that was some sort of a slide mechanism. Um, and this actually moves, this little door moves. Um, so if anybody can identify that, that would be great. Uh, maybe it came off of music box, I don't know. Maybe it came off a of lamp L, and maybe the the L stands for Lincoln. Uh, I don't know. So, okay. Well, this is uh, just a little update on uh, some of the finds that I found, and um, we'll see you on the next time. Thanks for watching.